Hey everybody, Gaming Mama here. Hey everybody, Gaming Mama here. Hey everybody, Gaming Mama here. Up we go. That's what Princess Ryan demands. Lots of bouncy balls. Lots of tires. We gotta keep them entertained. Let's go get our chimpanzees. We're gonna get a bunch of male chimps. And a bunch of female chimps. This is the glory of uh, sandbox mode. You don't have to worry about money. You can yeah, I did do dodge a lava boy. I did. Has some quick thinking on my part. Uh, yes, on Steam. Yep. Alright, going down really, really fast. Slowing down. Hopefully, we still have enough momentum. Get through all of this. We. Oh, I didn't realize that banked like that. Okay, interesting. Sibs, I did too. That's actually why I love Planet oh, Coaster. Zombie. Oh my gosh, there's lots of zombies in there. Okay, not good, not good. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. It's amazing the creativity a lot of people have when it comes to creating content for games. It's amazing. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I prefer PC gaming over console gaming for some things. Because of the mods and the, the community created content that you can find for the these different games. Oh. Okay, so these are either really, really good or really, really bad. I've seen it go one of each way. So let's see. <gasps> what? Look at this. Diamonds and gold and oh lapis. Oh my god, what are those? Okay. Scare. Let me pop it open. And we got a bunch of rainbow sheep. Which is actually kind of cool. So we now have at least one sheep, literally, of every color. So again, with my trusty torch, I, I go off for adventure. Ooh, gold. Ow! No! 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 Damn it! One night! One! Usually helps if I unmute. <laughs> Hi everybody, Gaming Rama here. Um, we are doing a bonus stream of Elite Dangerous. I was gifted this game by my very good friend Goldtrix, and I've been playing for a little bit, and it's kind of super fun. Um, for the stream, I did severely turn down the graphics just to hopefully not have lag. Normally, I would play this. If I'm playing just this, I would play it in much higher graphics, but I noticed when I was setting stream up that even just like the having the OBS running, it was lagging a little bit, so I turned down the graphics. So, Elite Dangerous is a space game. 
I am basically the commander of this beautiful ship that you see that I am inside of at the moment. Um, I'm currently docked. But, um, I made a boo-boo. I shot fires in a no-fire zone, so I currently have a fine that I have to go pay. So let's go pay that. <laughs> um, and then I have a couple of missions to turn in. Hello, Roblox. So let's go and pay my fine. Right here, it's just a hundred credits. I'm not, I'm not terribly stressed over that. And now we have access to everything. Let's refuel. Just because you always want to make sure you're refueled. And then we have a couple of missions to turn in. So let's complete the courier job. So basically the first one we did was to bring a message from another station to the station. Which is now complete. Yay! And then the other two missions, I had missions from this station to go out and find coffee and tea. I found those. I have them in my cargo. Let's turn them in, shall we? There goes the coffee. And then let's also do the tea. There we go. Alright, so this station wants even more coffee. So we'll go ahead and grab that um, mission. Um, they also want some fish. So I think we could probably find some fish somewhere. And then there is a courier job to Matet. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one as well. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Matet to turn in the courier emission while I'm in Matet, see if they have coffee and fish to buy that I can bring back here. Super simple. Um, I suck at combat, and as I'm sure you'll see, I suck at flying. So, with that being said, I don't do combat-related missions. So if you're here to see combat, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> but if you want to see like the beautiful galaxies and stuff that I'm flying through and stuff like that, then you were definitely in the right place. I figured I'm playing this today anyway. Like I said, I've, I've been playing it this morning. Figured I might as well go ahead and stream it because why not, you know? I'm playing anyway, might as well. We're gonna wait for the auto launch sequence to finish while we're waiting for that. We can go ahead and turn on our navigation for Matet. I'll lock it as our destination. And there is Matet over a light year away. That's what L L L Y means light years, so it's seven light years away. Stop spinning. There we go. We are currently mass locked to the station, so we have to get outside the range of the station in order to activate our hyperdrive. So that's what I'm going to do now. Moving out of the sh station. There we go. I'm going to come over here and activate our hyperdrive. And we're about to go into hyperdrive, people! Ready? We're charging it up. Charging it up. Charge it slowly, sorry. Three, two, one. And we are in hyperdrive. And of course, hyperdrive is a little laggy. Even with low graphics. There's not a lot I can do about that. I apologize. So here we go. We are on our way to the Matet Galaxy. Bam. Here we are. 
in here we want to go to the um something station where's the station aha there it is and I'll lock it so that it gives us its um general vicinity where is it I just gotta find where we're locked on to there it is All right, and we are still technically in hyperdrive, but it's like a thruster-induced hyperdrive. And yes, it is a very, very pretty game. I agree, Roblox. Even on low graphics, it's still a gorgeous game. All right, so we're just gonna get closer and closer here. Gonna start slowing down. Maybe not quite that much. There we go. We should be okay at that. We're at that pace. Do 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 do. I don't want to go. I don't want to approach it too fast because then I'll miss it. And then I'll have to turn around and try it all over again. Do to do, do almost there. Slow down here just a whole lot for a second. There we go. Like I said, I don't want to approach it too fast because then I'll either end up running into it or I'll go right past it. Either one is kind of bad, so... Just about there. I'm waiting for the prompts to come out of hyperdrive. Which I should be getting any second now. Do, 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 do. That's the moon in which the station orbits you can see some of the other ships and stuff that are headed towards the station we're coming away from the station some of them might be moving away from the station I, the level of detail is really awesome and the station should be in the middle of this circle here. We should actually be able to see a little dot of light in just a second. Alright, coming out of hyperdrive. Bam, there's the station. Okay, now I'm going to get on the other side of this real quick. Because the last couple of times I've come to this station... Um, my auto dock has run into their ring. So I'm gonna get just to the other side of their ring here. Just so my auto dock doesn't run into it. Because apparently my auto docking system is retarded. Alright. Or I can run into it too. Of course, because why not, right? Ah, shit, I'm gonna run into it again. Okay. That was really freaking close. Told you, I am not the best at flying. Ooh. 
just want to get to the other side of the ring. Ah, dang it. Maybe I should have just let my auto dock take control. All right, we're going to go ahead and stop. There we go. We are going to go ahead and request permission to dock. And we're going to let my my auto dock take over. It should hopefully get us into permission or position to dock. It should flip around now, and that's the docking hole right there. Yay, we made it! <laughs> With only a little bit of damage. <laughs> and this, like, very traditional classic music plays every time you dock or launch. That's like the station theme, I guess, or something. I don't know. Alright, we're going for 44 or 45? We are going for 44. Okay. Alright, and we are officially at Coal Ho Station. We're going to go ahead and go to the Starport Services and turn in that courier mission that brought us here originally. But first we're going to refuel. Always want to make sure we're refueled and repaired before we do pretty much anything else. We're going to turn this in. Easy peasy. Okay, and then we're going to go back and we're going to go to the commodities market and see if they've got coffee and fish. They do. So we need two for our mission. Two coffees. And we need three fishes. Here we go. Go out. And we're taking these back to Dromi. So let's see if there happens to be any courier missions for Dromi. Um, doesn't look like it. The only thing they want here is a salvage operation, and I don't do the salvage operations. So, we could, however, pick these up. Um, that way when we're back in Draw Me, we could see if they've got pesticides and animal mon monitors. So we will go ahead and pick these two up. There we go. We are going to go ahead and auto launch and we're going to head back to Dromi. I gotta wait for that ship in front of us to go out and finish its. Oh, and that one apparently, because they got in front of us. Oh, nope, we're gonna go first. Okay. I guess it's first come, first serve, not who's closer. Which I'm okay with. While we're waiting for auto launch to finish, go ahead and tag. Roll me. Do, 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 do. Look at all the other little shippies. Aww, so cute. And we are out of auto launch. Alright, let's see if we can find Draw Me. I think it's going to be probably mostly behind us. Because we always come at this one from behind when we're coming from Draw Me. Um, there it is. Okay. So we are going to move out of the way of the station so that we can activate our hyperdrive. 
As soon as we're no longer mass locked. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and activate our hyperdrive. Gonna charge up. Unfortunately, my this sh particular ship is really slow at charging its hyperdrive. But that's okay, I'm not in a rush. Two, one. Then we're gonna lag just a little bit, although it does look like this one is going smoother. All the little nebulas and stuff are going through. So pretty. So, so pretty. Alright, now that we're in this system, we could lock on to Mawson Station. Which is... Somewhere over here. There it is. I don't want to approach it too fast. Slow down, ship. Slow down, ship. I'm gonna go right over it. Yep, see? And I went right past it. Because unfortunately, your ship can only slow down so quickly. Alright, I should be slow enough now. I should be able to just disengage it when I get close enough. Waiting for the prompt. Where are you, prompt? Waiting. I think I have to get under one in order for it to prompt. Yep, there we go. And severe slowdown to a stop. Perfect. You can see right there, that's our docking hole. So that's where we're going to head towards. We have to get the our distance below 7.5 in order to request permission to dock. Do, do. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and request permission here. And I've never had them not grant me docking permissions as long as I'm within that limit. There's been a couple times where I've requested it when I'm outside of that 7.5 and they've denied me. But once you're inside that 7.5 minimum, I don't think I've ever been denied. So that's always kind of nice. Slowing down. Getting scanned. The stations always scan you as you dock. And we're going to pad 31. Is right there. All right, we're gonna go to Starship Services. We're gonna refuel, and then we are gonna turn in the tea and the fish, or sorry, the coffee and the fish. Yay! And the fish. Let's do this one too. 
Perfect. All right. Here. Let's see. What is it we need to get? I think. Pesticides. We need six pesticides. Why do we only have seven? Hmm. Oh, maybe they only had seven. Oh, yeah, because see, they've only got one left. Okay, and then we also need animal monitors. We need two of those. Which is perfect because that's all they've got. And we are at maximum capacity. Perfect. We are going to go back to Matet. Auto launch. Now, once we get to Matet, we will look for missions that maybe take us other places. That way, you guys don't see me just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I have a message up here. Let's read what it says. Congratulations, Commander, in recognition of your recent successes. The Pilots Federation has advanced you to the rank of Peddler. Cool. I ranked up, everybody. Here we go. Let's see if we can find Matet. Gonna be behind us somewhere. Isn't it? Uh oh, there it is. There it is. Alright, we're gonna start going towards it. There we go. Once we get out of mass lock, we will hyper jump. There we go. Charging! 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 Three, two, one, jump! Flying through the nebula! And we are in the Matet star system. Here, we need to locate a Colo. Let's lock onto that. Usually right around here somewhere, isn't it? There it is. Let's start slowing down because it does take us a minute to slow down sometimes. And I don't want to overshoot it again. Although I should probably overshoot it a little bit given the, given the auto dock situation. But whatevs. <laughs> it is what it is. Thirteen, twelve, eleven, nine, eight. Slow things down just a little bit more here. Alright, and then this time instead of trying to manually go through their ring, I will just auto dock and I will show you what the auto dock does because it's sometimes fucking hilarious.
waiting until we are under one LS. LS, by the way, is light second. Almost there. Almost there. Hello, bright light. Alright, I will get within the 7.5 that I need to get, and then I will just let the auto dock take it from there. gonna run me into the ring this time. They're gonna run me into it, watch! Watch! The auto dock's gonna run me into the ring! At high speed, even! Bam! <gasps> oh! I told you, every time the auto dock ends up running me into their ring, but I apparently can't do it manually any better, so... It is what it is, and then we're gonna flip around, and we will dock. There we go. Now that we're on the right side of the station, approaching it very slowly we're all the way at the back of the station there we go all right let's go ahead and turn in what they've asked for Alright, let's give them their animal monitors. Here we go. Ooh, I am now cordial with them. Nice. Let's give them their six pesticides. Alright, let's do the Explore the Galaxy. I'm not sure how this is going to work exactly, but let's try it, shall we? Alright, so, our navigation, look at the galaxy. There we go. And we want, what is it we wanted? LFT something? Uh, 
Um, can we see our missions from here? No, we can't. Okay, so hold on. Let me go and double check the mission real quick. We need... LTT 9387. LTT 9387. Oops, actually, I access it from here, don't I? Hello, Timber! How are you today? The LTT 9387. Hmm. Um, oop, there it is. Alright, so we're going to lock onto that. Go. We're going to go ahead and auto launch. I'm doing pretty okay. I, I was gifted this game from a, a good friend of mine. So I thought I'd give it a try. And it's very, it's like kind of complicated, and I, I suck at flying apparently, <laughs> but it's really kind of cool, and it's really gorgeous. Like what you're seeing is actually its lowest graphics, and even at its lowest graphics, it's still freaking gorgeous. I have a message here. It says, "Oh, hold on." Uh, it appears you are embarking on your journey beyond the Pilots Federation District. Before you leave, there are a few things you should be, sh I sh we should make you aware of. Docking outside of the starting area will automatically revoke your access. Okay, so we don't want to dock anywhere. That's good to know. Um, the Pilots Handbook and Training Simulations are always available on the Home tab. We hope that you've enjoyed your time with us, and we look forward to seeing your progress. Okay, so note to self, don't dock anywhere. Good to know. Okay, we have to find our target. Um, where is... Looking for our target. Unfortunately, there are so many things on the scanner. I'm not sure which one it is we're aiming for. So I'm just doing a manual check of the area. Um, okay, so... Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. Alright, so... We're gonna start moving towards it. We're gonna not hit the station. And basically, I mean, this is probably gonna take a minute because we're actually going, like on the back side of the station. We basically need to get far enough away from the station that our hyperdrive is not going to affect it. Because right now we're, ma we're what is called mass locked. Because we are s too close to a large mass to activate our hyperdrive. And we are f enough, far enough away. So... Um, where is it? Nope, that's not it. Um, all right, let's go ahead and stop for a second. We go into our galaxy map. We are going to route a map or a plot. Because we're going to need to do a couple of jumps before we can actually get there from the looks of it. Stop. There. Alright, so it looks like we need to go to Arcadia next. So let's see if we can find Arcadia on the list. There we go. We're going to engage our hyperdrive. 
We're gonna let it charge up. And we are gonna go explore the completely unknown to us. I don't know if it's unknown. Uh-oh. Nope, nope, get back down. And jump. There we go. I don't think it's unknown to the Federation. It is just unknown to me. That is a really, really freaking pink sun. Holy crap. Okay. Can we come out of hyper jump? Oh no, I don't want to. Okay. So from here, we should be able to go to LTT. There we go. All right, let's see if we can find it real quick. All right, where is our target? Ah! Okay, hold on. We gotta find our target first. Where the heck? Aha! There it is. Alright, so let's do that again. Charging. Will it let us do it? Right. Going into an unknown system. Uh oh. But can we stop our jump now? There we go. All right, we'll let things cool down while we figure out what the heck we need to do next. Okay, so exploring the galaxy. So we are here. Travel to higher gateway. Okay, let's see if we can find higher gateway in our navigation. Um, higher gateway. There it is. I'll lock onto it here. Oh, it's actually right there. Look at that. Okay. Charging. Three, two, one, go! Once we get a little bit closer, we'll actually slow it down. We don't want to approach too quickly. Start bringing it down. There we 
maybe go a little bit more, a little faster than that, but not by much. We're going to be wanting to come out of hyperdrive here in just a second. Cheeky Ginger, this is a game called Elite Dangerous. Um, it was gifted to me by my very good friend Goltrix. And so I thought I'd give it a try. And it is actually really fun and kind of amazing. Although it is also very complicated. <laughs> I am not a very good pilot. When I try to fly, fly manually, I am not very good at it at all. Right now I am in hyperdrive. But I should be coming out of hyperdrive here in just a second as we approach our target here. I have never been to a gateway before. I have no idea what to expect once we come out of hyperdrive. All I know is it's somewhere in this little circle in front of me. Alright, I should be prompted to come out of hyperdrive here in just a second. There are safer places out there, and we're going to find them no matter the risk. Alright. Okay, disengage. Hyperdrive. Okay. And we're going to come to a complete stop. Okay, I don't know that I actually want to dock with them because they warned me that if I dock somewhere that's not Federation, I will lose my Federation credentials. So let me check my quest here and see what it is I'm supposed to do. Um, okay, so Venture Beyond, be safety, and explore the galaxy, travel to, collect 100,000 credits. Okay, so now that I've been here, do I just go back? And they give me 100,000 credits for coming out this far? Um, let me get a little bit closer to them as if I were going to dock just to make sure it recognizes that I was actually here. I've entered their no fire zone. I have technically entered their zone or their docking range. But they are not Federation, so I do not want to dock with them. Um so do I just go back to I just go back to any federation now? Alright, we'll try it. We'll we'll go back to Federation. Looks like M Matet might be the closest. So we'll go to Matet. Because I know that's Federation. Uh navigation. We have to go back to a cardian. Okay, it's still locked. Still locked for us. So we should be able to just kind of look around and see if we can find it. A warning, Commander. Weapon fire restrictions are in place here. Uh oh. Did I pull out my weapons? Oh I did. Sorry. Um Oh, you know what, Timber? You're actually that's a that's a good suggestion. I I will try that before I leave. Now, see, the only thing it gives me is to request docking, and I don't want to dock with them. Yeah, 
I don't I don't want to dock because I don't want that to screw up my my thing with the with the Federation. I don't know what exactly my district permit gives me though. Okay, so let's line up with Arcadian here. Get our speed going. What is the name of the quest? Um, Explory, Exploring the Galaxy? Yeah, Exploring the Galaxy. I assume you're going to look it up for me? You're going to look it up for me, then I'm going to just chill for a second. Come on, turn. There we go. It looks kind of borgish, doesn't it? Like how it's all black and red like that. Timber, you're awesome. I just don't want to dock with them and lose my permit thing and not be able to dock anywhere else. You know what I mean? And the mission itself doesn't say that I need to talk to anybody. It just says to come here. This is just travel too. It doesn't say I have to dock with anything. Um, let's see, status. Oops. I'm currently neutral with them. Um, I've done a lot of stuff in the last little bit. All the missions! <gasps> this is my reputation, apparently. Looks like I'm pretty neutral with everybody. My external lights are off, but that's only because I don't know how to turn them on. My night vision is off, and you're attracted. Cargo scoop is retracted. My beacon is off. My everything is off. Auto dock, auto launch, occasional correctional. Can't find that mission? Okay. Well, let's go ahead. Do the defense to scan this vessel unless you are an authorized member of system security? Okay. Alright, let me see if I can find my... Dang it! Put the hard points away. Um, there it is, there it is. Alright, let's go ahead and hyper jump. Hopefully this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out as soon as we get back to Matet. If they don't let me turn it in, then it means that I do have to actually dock with them and end up losing my permit. Which I think is really stupid that they would force you to lose your permit, but games are what they are, right? Now, I 
have to find... Can I stop? Nope. Okay. Where is Matet? Oop, there it is. There it is. I almost went right past it. slow down I wanted I want to do the hyperdrive thing there we go whoosh through all the nebula And here we want to find I think it's Kalho station that's here in Matet. I think it's over this way a little bit. Where is the station? Um Do I not have it marked? I might not have it marked. Hold on. Where's the station? There we go. Okay, now it's locked. Should be able to find it a lot easier now. Try not looking directly into the sun. Where is Olel Station? There it is. Do 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 do. do. Let's start slowing down. Yep. Oh, nope. I'm gonna go right past it. I'm gonna go right past it. Uh, where did it go? Is I overshot it just a little bit. But that's okay. Back behind the moon. Not run into the moon while we're trying to get to the station. That would be bad. There we go. I'll go just under the moon. Hello, Mr. Moon. How are you today? I'm out of it yet? Sure can. I think I s might still be really far away from it. Yeah, see we're still really far away. So hold on, let me reactivate.
Do 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 do. I don't know this other like, extra crap that showed up on my screen that I have no idea what it's for. Oh, there we go. I think it was because I was so close to that that moon's surface. Maybe I don't know. I'm guessing at this point. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Alright, we need to get to within 7.5. Alright. And we are gonna dock with them and hope that we can turn in that mission? 2 7. Okay. Yay! Yay for auto docking! Scan detected. And on to pad two seven. Right there, it's gonna flip us. All right. Now this game, believe it or not, was actually originally created for VR. I could not imagine playing this game in VR. It would make me so sick. Oh yeah, we used a lot of our fuel on that one. All right, yeah, see, and we can't turn it in. So maybe we have to dock? I don't want to dock if it's going to take away my... I don't know, maybe, maybe you have to, or I don't know. I mean, this is... I, I could abandon it for now. Incoming mission critical message. Ooh. Mission critical? Didn't say a damn thing. Okay. Save scum? What? Whoops. Wrong one. Okay, so it does put it back into our thing with a different destination. So I don't know, maybe that's like a a potential daily mission that I could potentially do. Hmm. Alright, let's uh source and return six units of pesticide for Matet. Um, deliver six units of tea. I think I can manage that. And two units of um. That was new. I've never had to do that before. Okay. And then we could also deliver the two units of mineral oil to the same place. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. And then there was also a courier job for the same place. We can go and do all three of those. That will get us a lot of credits. Okay. And then while we're at Ornteg or whatever it's called, to save scum is to save before you do something and then reload if it... Oh, I see. Um, well, 
I don't think you can save and then load that way. It doesn't really let you load the game. It's not that type of game. So I cannot. <laughs> it's it's one of those where you it's like it's like a login. It's like an MMO almost. Where it saves when you do things. There is no undoing. So that's one of the reasons why I'm so terrified to do it. Because if I do do it and I lose my permit, that could potentially screw up a lot of things for me. So. <laughs> okay. Let's go back. We're completely fueled up. We're completely repaired. Go ahead and auto launch. Yeah, so when you go, to, when you get Elite um, Dangerous, it actually makes you create an account with Frontier and all kinds of stuff. And I'm currently playing on solo play. So I don't have, like, other people that can come and, like, attack me and shit. But you do have the option of playing in public servers. Or if you have a group of friends that all own the game, you guys can play on a private server just with each other. It's one of those type of games. So, unfortunately, save scumming is not, not a possibility with this one. Okay, while we're loading, or flying, let's go ahead and tag or... Or Tigia or whatever it's called. Uh oh no. Oh no, I am too heavy. That's what the um excess mass means. It means I'm too heavy to make that jump. Crap. Um, okay, so which of these is heavier? Does it say, whoops. Does it give an actual weight on them? Yeah, I could jettison it and retain ownership. Hmm. Whoops. Dang it. Let me go ahead. I guess for now I'll jettison the mineral oil. Maybe it's what's too heavy. Let me see if I can now make this jump. No, it still says I'm too heavy. Mmm. I just gained a fee or a fine. Did I seriously just gain a fine for jettisoning that? I don't know how to reclaim it. Um, how do I find? Is that here? It's under status. Yeah, I do. I have an 800 credit fine for jettisoning that. <sighs> oh. And it didn't even help. Oh, my lord.
E to reset, you have the destination set by dropping the icon on which... Okay, hold on, wait. Need to reset. You have the destination set by dropping the icon on it, which is beyond the range of your ship. My understanding was that if it was in the purple and said access mass, it meant you were too heavy to do a hyper jump. Otherwise, I have no idea how you would reset. How would you reset? It says that I exceed my my fuel use. Which is kind of confusing, actually, to me. Because I've had full cargo of coffee and tea before, and it hasn't been an issue. I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. In other words, you need to go to plot versus just dropping the icon. Oh, I see. So you think I might just need a waypoint between the two? Okay. I will try that in just a second. I'm going to go pay this this fine real quick. I had no idea that I would get fined 800 credits just for jettisoning something so close to the station. So give me just a second. I'm going to go pay this off real quick. Also, by the way, hi, Bison. <laughs> I take it you play this game as well? I just barely got it. Like, today's really my only... My my first day really playing it. Um, I did the, like, the tutorial and stuff like that. But this is the first time I'm really, just, like, actually doing quests and missions and stuff like that. So... go. Okay, let's see. Do I not have that mission anymore? Um... Oh no, I do. Okay. Okay, so auto launch and then we'll plot um navigation. There's our take. Okay, so we're going to plot the route. There we go. Yes, since 2000. Oh, so you've you've got a lot of experience with it then. Okay. Waiting in queue. 
I am so glad that this has auto launch and auto dock because there is no way I'd be able to navigate through that tiny little hole all by myself, like manually. And okay, so now I should be able to make it. As soon as we finish auto launching here. Okay, we need to find our target. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, hello? Where's our target? There it is. Okay, we're gonna try not to hit the, uh, not hit the ring of the station that would be bad okay you're considered a low-end billionaire oh my gosh I'm like halfway to my first million does that count okay navigation so apparently we're going to hit Dromi first. Charging. Yay! I bird jumping. directly into the sun of course we are all right and now once our thing recharges we should be able to make the jump to there um, charging there are players that have as much as 20 billion they know one player that has over a hundred ships Holy crap, Bison. That is probably a lot of hours of gameplay. <laughs> um, I personally, I am terrified to like play on a public server or whatever because I have a feeling I, I don't manually fly very well and I suck at combat. Like, I don't play first-person shooters and stuff like that for a reason. So, um, I suck at combat. And I especially suck at player versus player combat. I have a feeling if I were to go into, like, a public server or whatever, I would just get smashed. Like, really freaking hard. Alright. Eldritch Station. Go ahead and lock onto that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's probably behind the sun, isn't it? Knowing my luck. No, it's not. Okay, cool. Oh, there it is. Actually, not that far away. Yay! So, I am terrified to play anything other than a solo play or with a private match with my friends. I'm hoping that my friends that... that um, gifted me this game. I'm hoping we'll be able to get together sometime and I'll play together. Because I know they won't kill me. It takes time to learn and Elite has a learning cliff. Not just a learning curve, but a learning cliff. Oh no. Yeah, it is a lot to take in. There is a lot to do all at once. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Come on, ship, slow down. Damn it, I'm gonna bypass it again. Damn it! It slows down too slowly, damn it.
I haven't quite figured out the timing on that yet. On when I should start slowing down. Um, you can still contend with NPC pirates, so even if you don't fight, you need to learn how to run. Yeah. Yeah, luckily I haven't run into any of those yet. Um, Vice, and I know, the loop of shame, I've done many of those at this point. You might actually know. Um, I have a quest available to me that's called Exploring, Exploring the Galaxy. And basically it takes me to a non-Federation star system and stuff. But they warned me that if I dock with a ship that's not Federation, I will lose my district permit. I don't necessarily want to do that. So how would I complete that mission? Do I have to lose my permit in order to complete that mission? Uh, seven second rule. When the timer reaches seven, near seven seconds, you need to cut speed down to 70. Oh, seven seconds. Okay. I can remember seven. Seven's an easy number to remember. Go. Let's go ahead and request our permission here. Request approved. Clear to land at docking bay one two. One two. I mean, if you need to see the the quest to know which one I'm talking about, I can show it to you as soon as we get inside the station here. I don't think I am. If I am, I don't know how I became so. I just played the tutorials and then jumped into the game and started doing like courier quests and stuff like that. So if I am pledged to a faction, I have no idea how or when that happened or how to check to see if I am. So how would I check that kind of stuff? How would let's start off with how would I check to see if I'm pledged with a faction? Let's start there. I'm gonna lean on you here for a second, Bison. <laughs> and it does look like I might have like a 30 second or so delay. So. But it seems like I don't respond for quite a while. That's probably why. I will wait for you to catch up to me, though. So. They can't really talk to any of those people. Yeah, power play means absolutely nothing to me, so I have no idea. These are my reputations. I'm neutral with everybody, so I don't think I'm pledged to anyone. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have anything there. Need to see the contract info you entered into. Where exactly would I do that? Would that be in the hangar? Contract info. Let's start by refueling here. Go ahead and turn in my missions.
Left panel transactions. Okay. Let me finish turning these in real quick. Oh, apparently I don't have those. Okay, transactions. Passengers, claims, fines, bounties. Nothing here. So... And this won't let me deliver... I do still have them, right? Like, in my inventory? Yeah, I have two mineral oils. So why won't it let me put those in? Oh, I know why. Because I bought them. I didn't get them from... Okay. Yeah, I dumped the mineral oil. Oops. I think I'm going to have to probably abandon this one. Okay, so this is the one I was telling you about. See, it says it gives me like a random location to go to. But then it tells me that if I dock outside the Federation's district, it will restrict or it will, will revoke my district permit. And I don't want it to restrict to revoke my permit if that's gonna keep me from doing like missions and stuff with the Federation. I mean, given that um, my my rank is not what is recommended. Yeah, Bison, I'm gonna I'm gonna abandon that one and maybe repick it up when I go back. Okay, there's a courier job for Dromi. Oh, hold on. Which? Where am I having to take the pest? Okay, so let's go ahead and abandon this one real quick. Because I screwed that one up. Where do we need to take these ones to? To Matet. Okay. Do I have any... Doesn't look like I have anything that's going back to Matet other than... The, um... That's the new player area. Once you're beyond the area, you can't get back in. Okay, so basically, I want to get as many credits and do as many of these little missions in here, in the Federation, that I can before I do that one. That's basically what you're telling me. So we'll go ahead and grab this one because Dromi is on the way back to Matet. Uh, oh, do they not sell what they need? We're going to sell these two mineral oils. Or a profit, even. So, there you go. Alright, so what is it they want? They want pesticides. And apparently, these guys don't have pesticides. So, um, let me go back. More or less. Okay. Easy enough. So, Dromi wanted... There we go. Okay, so we'll deliver these and pick up pesticides in Dromi. So let's make sure we are locked onto Dromi. 
Nope, nope. Wrong one. Here we go. Means you have to go to areas as indicated in the galaxy map. They have orange icons over each season. Or season. System. Okay. So let's see. Looking in the galaxy map. Basically, I want to stay within the ones that have the orange on them here. Anything outside of that is going to potentially cause me issues within the Federation. Gotcha. Okay. That is good to know. All right. Oh, I don't want to run into that rock. That'd be bad. All right, we're going to get outside of mass lock. And we're going to hyper jump to drummy. The ones that look like wings. Yep. Okay. So far, I've only kind of traveled back and forth between three of them. I haven't really gone outside those three. But like I said, when it comes to these kind of games, I'm kind of chicken. So... Come on. This is new stuff they added recently. Didn't have this back then. Oh, really? Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, so I think I'll probably, like, earn a bunch of credits and make sure my ship has everything that it really, really needs. And then I'll do that Explore the Galaxy thing. Because it sounds like once I complete that one, I can't come back in here. And this is kind of the safe zone for me right now, so... <laughs> Alright, where's the station? Um, station, where are you? They made it easier for new players to get into the game. That's probably smart, because if it's too hard to get into, a lot of people just won't. So, okay, I need to make sure that I've got the, uh, the station locked here. There we go. That way I can actually see it when it pops up. Um, please don't tell me it's behind the sun. There it is. Okay. All right. I'm going to try what you said at seven seconds. Bring it down to 75%. I'm gonna try anyway. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh, see, it doesn't come back. It doesn't come down fast enough. Oh, damn it. Ah. I almost did it. I failed horribly, but I almost did it. Your compass will show the direction you need to travel to. I have a compass? Which one is the compass?
Do, 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 do. Watching new players like me play probably drives you nuts, doesn't it, Bison? We probably screw everything up. Small circle on the left of the radar. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. That will guide me, like, to my target? That is good to know. Yay, I did it. It depends. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and request docking. Solid indicates in front, hollow to the rear. Oh, really? Okay. So because the, the, um, because the station is right in front of me, it's a solid white dot. If it was an, like, basically an open circle, that means I need to turn around. That's good to know. I will pay more attention to that. Let's go ahead and give them what they need. Um, what the, um, what the heck? pick up the conductive fabrics <sighs> well I am frustrated now <sighs> okay we'll grab these uh, courier jobs for drummy Oops, okay, I guess I should accept, not. I could have sworn I had picked up those fabrics. What the heck? And they want pesticides. Oh, but they've only got three, damn it. I'm pretty sure I did pick them up. I'm pretty sure I did. But now I'm 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 not sure. Ugh. Okay. Well, I am a little bit frustrated <laughs> with that whole thing, and I have been playing since like ten o'clock this morning. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. Bison, thank you so much for all of your hints and tips. Pesticides is a, a source and return mission. Yes. But this station only has three and I need six altogether. So I'm probably going to go back to Ortegan or whatever it's called. Um, o o Ochin. Ochin. Anyway. Because apparently I have to go and pick up the fabrics again. But anyway... Bison, thank you so much for all of your hints and tips. I really, really do appreciate that. I do like this game. It 
it's very frustrating at times. There's a lot that I have to learn because there is a lot involved. It's crazy how much is involved. Um, let's go see if we can find somebody to go raid because I like raiding. I like supporting my fellow streamers. Um, it doesn't look like I've got anybody else that's currently playing Elite. But I do have a friend that is playing Apex. So, to keep from being overwhelmed, just do courier mission, courier data missions. See, that's like, that's how I started, was I was just doing courier missions back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But then I noticed the, the... Uh, what is it? Source and return. And it's like, I can do that. You spend a thousand credits to get 30,000 credits. I can do that. These, um, delivery ones are turning out to be an issue. So we'll see. All right, let's go raid excellent flex. Raid excellent flex. I will try to stream again tomorrow. But with it being Sunday, I'll probably spend a lot of the day with my family. So I will definitely be back on Monday. Not sure what I'll be playing. I might play some more of this. I might play a different game. Not sure. But I will definitely be back on Monday because that is my regular scheduled stream. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out.